Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor, and today you will learn 50A2 level nouns. Now, we did A1, I figured, hey, why don't we do A2? A lot of you guys said that you already knew those words that were in the A1. Let's level it up just a little bit to level 2, which is A2. I'll read 50 nouns. They're not going to be in any category because for A1, it's kind of easy to put them in family or technology or sports kind of categories because the words are very foundational but as you move up the words get pulled from all these different topics all these different avenues of life that it's hard to put them in a certain category but they're all listed in the order of frequency of use so the the earliest word will be the most frequently used one and as we go down it's going to be less and less and less and less and less common okay but of course, as always, I'll give you some explanation to the word outside of just simply its translation whenever it's needed. Okay, let's get right into this. And the first word is dela. Now, dela means a thing or things, but not things that are like belongings or objects, but, but mostly things that we do. Okay, like endeavors or actions. And I'm sure you know this phrase, как дела? which means how are you, but mostly it means how are your things, how are the things that you do, how are your, um, yeah, I guess how are things, but mostly things that we do, not just our belongings, of course. Then we have starana. Starana means side, okay, starana. Then we have zimlia. Zimlia means earth, and it's also planet earth as well. Zimlia can be the name of our planet, but also the dirt, the, the, the things that we plant the seeds in, that's also earth, and it's also zimlia in Russian. Then we have sila, force or strength, sila, okay, sila. Then we have suluchi, suluchi means chance or occasion. We also have this phrase, navsyaki suluchi, which means just in case, or navsyaki suluchi means literally for any occasion or for any chance, for a small chance, I guess, на всякий случай. But случай means chance or occasion, yeah. Then we have мир. Мир means world, мир. Um, it can be geographical, мир, world, but also мир can be peace, like a no war kind of peace uh, meaning. So it can be two things, either world or peace. Then we have вид. And vid means view, vid, vid. And we have pravda. Pravda means truth, pravda. I can say, mm, это не правда. It's not true. Or, this is not truth. And those are just a few words that we have just covered. Guys, check out our beef learning class with the first link in the description. It's our Russian learning platform where you will find whatever you're looking for in Russian. Whether that be a fluency program, talk about level by level kind of structure of lessons. You can go on Russian content and watch Russian shows, cartoons and, and movies. Or you can go down to the exercise tab and learn and practice your skills. Check it all out with the first link in the description. It's our month-to-month subscription-based platform that you will benefit a lot from. Check it out with the first link in the description. Next word is дорога. Дорога means road. Дорога. Now, this can be a physical дорога, like actual pavement, or also дорога means like a far ride for something. Дорога can be also translated as a ride or a path. Дорога. Then we have... Бог. And Бог means God. Okay, Бог. Now, notice that we have G at the end, but I don't say Бог. Because Бог sounds like it's K at the end, and Бог in Russian is our, 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 our side of the body, Бог. Okay, but Бог with the H at the end, Бог means God. Then we have мысль. And мысль means a thought. мысль. Then we have лес. Лес means forest. Лес. Then we have put. Put is actual path. It's path from point A to point B. Put. Now this can be again a physical put, like we have to walk somewhere. But also put can be a literal one, which means not literal, figurative, which is like a path of life. Put. Okay. Then we have стена. Стена means wall. Стена. 
Okay, as you, as you can see right there, this Bifluent sign is on the wall, Stina. Then we have Neba. Neba means sky. Neba. And typically, Neba means sky, the, the blue sky. Okay, we have clouds, then we have maybe a rain clouds. We can have like a darker gray kind of uh, sky, but typically we refer to Neba as the blue, blue sky. Then we have Vosduch. It's something, it's something that we breathe in. Air. Vosduch. Vosduch. It's air. Vosduch, it's not just oxygen. It's altogether air. Okay? Then we have shock. And shock means step. Shock. Again, it can be your foot stepping in, uh, forward. Shock. Or it can be a step in, let's say, in your career. Shock. Okay? Then we have trut. And truth means labor. Truth. Uh, truth also, I'm sure you, you know this word trudny, which means difficult. And it has truth in the beginning. So it kind of can have a kind of a connection with uh, labor as well. Then we have capitan. Capitan is captain. Capitan, it can be a military captain, but also it can be a sports captain as well. Capitan. Then we have parin. Parin means a young man or a guy, but also parin can be boyfriend, okay? I guess uh, boyfriend in English can be like a friend who is a guy, but mostly it's used to say, it's my boyfriend. But parin, if, if, if a lady says, moi parin, which means my guy or my young man, it means my boyfriend, okay? Moi parin. But of course, in everyday life, I can say parin to call a, a person on the street, doesn't mean that he's my boyfriend all of a sudden, right? So parin can be either boyfriend or just simply a guy, young man. Then we have lubov. Lubov means love. Lubov as a noun, love. Not to love, but love as a noun. Then we have pomosh, which means help. Pomosh. Pomosh. Then we have gazeta. And gazeta means newspaper. Gazeta. Gazeta. Let's speed this up a little bit. I noticed that we were going for a very long time now, but we're only halfway through. <laughs> Gazeta. And then we have Chustva. Chustva means a feeling. Chustva. Chustva. Uh, we also have this verb Chustvavat, which means to feel. But Chustva is a feeling. Then we have Agon. Agon is fire. And also, you know what's funny? Is that in English slang, fire, oh, that was fire. That was great. That was amazing. In Russian, we have agon being that, that word as well. We can say, было просто agon. It was great. It was just amazing. Agon. Then we have ugal. Ugal means an angle or a corner. Okay. Ugal both can be an angle, like 90 degrees angle, but also can be a corner of, 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 of a room or something. Then we have derevo. Derevo means a tree. Derevo. Then we have очередь, which is a queue or a line. Очередь. I can also say, пришла моя очередь. It's now my, my turn. It's the queue has come up to me. Моя очередь means it's my time. It's my turn. Очередь. Then we have форма. Форма can be either a shape, like your actual body shape, physical shape. It can be a shape of a, let's say like a cookie is a shape of a a shape of a square, for example, right? That's also a shape. But also, forma can be uniform. Forma. Then we have vietir. And vietir means the wind. Vietir. Then we have gasudarstva, which means state or government. Gasudarstva. Gasudarstva typically, typically refers to not state, um, like a um, state of, like let's say, the U.S., California, New York, Texas, whatever. But государство typically is actual government as a whole, as a whole country. Okay, государство. Then we have река. Река means a river. Река. Then we have реч. Реч means speech. Реч. Now, this can be referred to as speech on the stage, a speech, but also speech how you talk. Maybe speech impediment can be also that kind of a term uh, when it comes to speech, how you talk, how a person would talk. Then we have море. Море means sea, море. But also море can be referred to as 
a lot of something. У нас було море еди. We had loads of food. Or we had seas of food. Right? We had so much of food that it was simply, like, you couldn't see the end of it. Okay? Море. But that's a pretty rare usage, but it's pretty useful. Useful one as well. Then we have зал. And зал means uh, hall, a hall. Зал can be either, like, um, where a person would perform a hall, a зал. But also, зал can be referred to as a living room. Living room, living room can be called зал. I've heard it many, many times being called that. Зал. Then we have писатель. Писатель means a writer. Писатель. Then we have план. План means, as it sounds, plan. <laughs> center, again, center. Pretty easy stuff. Then we have встреча. Встреча means meeting. Встреча. Встреча can be a meeting when it comes to like a business meeting, when two people meet, but also can be a meet uh, or, or, or a meeting of classmates on the street or something. Встреча. Then we have президент, which is a president. Президент. Then we have враг, enemy. Враг. Враг. Then we have счастье. Счастье, which means happiness. Счастье. Uh, I can say... Все мы хотим счастья. We all want happiness. Then I can, uh, no, I can say but the next word is картина. Картина means picture. Картина can be referred to a picture on the wall or also a picture like a motion picture, like a movie, картина. Any sort of creation of art can be called картина in Russian as well. Then we have будущее. Будущее means future. Будущее. Then we have Коридор also sounds exactly what it's translated into. A corridor. I'm not sure how to say it in, in, uh, in English. A corridor. I think so. Corridor. I hope I'm, I'm saying this one right. Then we have um. Um is mind, but mostly the, the, the mind that is responsible for logic, typically. Um. Um. Then we have член, which means member. Член сообщества, member of a society. Chilean. But also, guys, Chilean can be can be uh, a biological term for for a private part of a man. Okay, biological term now. Uh, uh, so Chilean can be also referred to as that. If it's used by itself as one word Chilean, then mostly is the biological term of a male private parts. But if it's ch Chilean of something, Chilean сообщество, Chilean правительство, you know all those things. Uh, that's typically a member of that entity, okay? Then we have Soviet. Soviet means council. When it comes to maybe a lot of people come together, it's a council of something, Soviet. But also, a more common one is advice. Soviet is advice. I can say, Я ему дал хороший совет. Я ему дал хороший совет. I gave him a good, I gave him a good advice, Okay? Then we have правительство, which is government. Правительство is referring to as government. Правительство is um, people who are in charge. Not the actual government, like uh, state of something, but it's mostly referring to people, actual people. Правительство. And lastly, we have профессор, which is professor, okay? Профессор. And now you guys know 50 Russian a2 nouns. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for the next episode coming out next week of 50 more words of A2.